light, 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 light. And lights are so helpful and useful to keep you going at night and to keep you visible at night. But what happens if you run out of batteries or you forget your lights? Well, this is when reflectives play an important role. They don't emit any light, but instead they bounce the light back that falls on them. Most bicycles already come with some reflectives, such as front and rear ones. Some of them have them on the spokes and some also have them on the pedals, which is a great location because a moving reflective bounces the light back and as it moves, uh, it attracts a bit more attention. But if you want to take everything to the next level, you can get something like this. This is a spoke reflector. I got a bunch of them for like a euro or two. I put them on my son's bike and he loves them because it just makes you stand out so much at night. All you need is a gloomy day and a little bit of light and it brings your bicycle to life. Now, if you don't want to put spoke reflectives to your bicycle because you think it's a bit childish, although I don't think it is, you can also go for something like this. This is a tire with reflective sidewalls, which is also great because it's just so visible at night. Many commuter tires come with this great feature, plus they're also very puncture resistant. I love this and almost all my bikes have reflective sidewalls. Another way to make your bike stand out at night is by adding some reflective tape or reflective foil to the frame. But of course, reflectives are not only for the bicycle, but you can also wear reflective details on yourself. Or what about these bands that you can put on yourself? You can slap it on your arm, you can slap it on your ankle, and you attract more attention to yourself at night. Companies give them away for free, they just put their logo on it, and there you have a nice little reflective. The problem with them is that they're not super visible. But what about this? Well, this is a safety vest, which has plenty of reflective details and it's nice high-vis during the day. This definitely makes you stand out daytime and nighttime as well. You get these everywhere and they cost next to nothing. And you can get them also from your employer or some schools give them away to the children to encourage active transportation. Well, they're super functional. The problem with them is that they don't look very pretty. And if you are dressed for your destination and you go to a nice place, you have to take it off every single time. You can also wear something like this. This is a cycling jacket that has some reflective details on the front and the back. It's nice and high vis And you can actually wear this even when you get there. The problem with cycling specific jackets, at least my problem, is the pocket, the location of the pocket. You put the pocket on the back, it's not great for commuters, especially not me because sometimes I cycle with a backpack. Sometimes I use a pannier, sometimes I use a backpack. When I use a backpack, I can't put anything in my pockets. I also find it hard to reach for the pockets uh, even without the backpack on. Uh, so I like it, but it's not very practical. Here's another option. Take a look at this. This is a super reflective. This has some high-vis details and it's something that I can actually wear even when I get to my destination. Plus, it's got a pocket on the side. This is made by a company in Belgium called GoFluo. They actually specialize on making cycle wear that commuters can actually use and it's practical. So it's got these nice reflective surfaces everywhere. It's actually one piece of reflective material it's got this nice hoodie, so it's nice and water repellent to a point. It's not very warm, but it can be worn on top of your outer layer. The one thing where this falls short is it doesn't give you too much ventilation because it is a plastic material. If you want the high-vis details, but you also want some ventilation, you can go for something like this. This is also made by GoFruo. This is a similar vest that you won't mind wearing when you're at your destination. It's got these nice stripes, these high-vis stripes, and it's got these tiny little holes to make circulation possible. So if you want to ride a bit further or you ride in warmer weather, this could be an excellent choice. Of course, this one doesn't have that water repellent capacity because it got, it's got these holes on it, but it has the pocket on the side so you can put your phone in or your keys in or whatever you want to keep here on the pocket. You don't have to reach to your back to grab your things. And because you have to be prepared for rainy days as well, 
they also have this cycling rain poncho which is not just any poncho but a cycling specific rain poncho because it's got reflectives on the sides it's got the reflective here on the front reflective on the back which is great super lightweight super thin but very water resistant i had the chance to test this uh, recently it's been raining quite a bit it's got this nice little visor built in and it makes sure that you don't get water in your eyes you can, because it's such a thin material you can also wear it with the helmet on but those are not the only tricks that it has up its sleeve it's got this nice little pocket here on the front so you can put your phone in and make sure that it doesn't get wet it's got this nice little flap the reflective flat there it's got this buckle here on the side so you can buckle the front and the rear together so it doesn't fly away it sort of acts like a sleeve when you're off the bike when you're on the bike you undo this buckle but when you're on the bike chances are that the wind is going to blow this the rear part away which is why which is why you've got this nice strap here so now the back is strapped to my body so even if the wind blows it doesn't blow the rear part away reflective hems which is fantastic and one more thing you've got these straps here inside so when you're on the bike you can hold these straps put them over the handlebar and the rain is not going to hit your legs and because it's so thin and so lightweight it can be put in any pocket very very easily in a small pack pocket of your backpack or your pannier another way to add some extra visibility to your ride is by getting some accessories that have high vis or reflective parts like this bag from GoFluo again uh, again it's got these high vis parts it's got reflective stripes at the front at the side down here at the bottom and I particularly like it because it's not only high vis and reflective but it's also plastic so it's completely waterproof I have been caught in a heavy downpour with this one and my laptop and everything that I kept inside was bone dry it's very simple to open it with the buckle and it's got this nice large compartment here at the front with a laptop sleeve and a phone holder inside and what's really nice about it is that it's a pannier when you're on the bike and it's a shoulder bag when you're off the bike so there is no need to convert it uh, when you put it on the bike you tuck the strap the shoulder strap in the bag and it's ready to go so it's really really clever it's definitely one of my favorite bags when it comes to practicality for commuting one more thing that GoFlow sent me and thank you guys for sending this to me and unfortunately it's not in stock at the moment but this gilet is just so amazing this is high vis up to here and reflective down here all the way around it's got two pockets two zippered pockets so you can put anything you want in the pockets and keep them safe and it's nice and super warm but what I really love about it is this when you turn it inside out it's super low profile and it doesn't attract any attention now you've got pockets on the outside or on this side as well although although these ones don't have the zipper but it's still fantastic so now not being visible on the bicycle is a big mistake and it's potentially dangerous but it's not the only mistake that you can make as a new bike commuter which is a bummer because most people who start by commuting don't give it up because it's too hard but because they make one of these seven mistakes so if you want to avoid making them go and check out this video that i made for you and i hope to see you there take care bye bye